Back now with more of a tough scene we've been watching unfold all week. Thousands of people, many without jobs or health insurance, are continuing to overwhelm volunteers at a free health care clinic in Los Angeles. Many needy people who were turned away earlier in the week were told to come back today. But what happened when they got there? NBC's Miguel Almaguer joins us tonight from Los Angeles. Miguel, good evening. Lester, good evening. The massive medical floor behind me is in full swing 12 hours a day, but the hundreds of volunteers are having a tough time keeping up with the thousands that continue to show up. 488. Turned away earlier this week, they waited three days, even took three buses to get here. We have medical. Uh -huh. we have Mike and Maura Walsh can't find work, and they don't have health insurance. Do you have a primary physician? No. Like thousands of others, they're willing to wait days for a few free hours of care. Maura hasn't seen a doctor in 17 years. It's very scary, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it is frightening. And that's why I really feel that uh, we need to do something in this country where it's affordable. On Tuesday, the L.A. Forum became a mobile hospital. The bleachers are still packed with people, but center court has become center stage for medical procedures on the fly. Eight days of free health care, but by the third, wristbands for the entire week were gone. Please. I deserve it. Vita Martin has a job, but no insurance. She found out she'll need more than one day of free care. My blood pressure is so high, and I can't afford the meds that I need to make it lower. And I'm going to die. RAM, or Remote Area Medical, first began offering donated health care in third world countries. But they are running this week's operation in the world's richest country and the nation's second largest city. If you were here all month, could you serve everyone that needed help? Oh, not a chance, no. We could be here three months and we still wouldn't uh, catch up on the, uh, on the demand for the service. Doctors know they can't help everyone. So you almost feel like you're not doing very much. You help helpless. But today, Mike and Maura Walsh made it through the doors. This is like a miracle. This is, this is, this is fantastic. Thankful, yeah, even though this may not be all the yeah, care they need, but it's the only care they can get. The Walshes are among the 8,000 people that organizers say they will be able to help by Tuesday. Lester. Miguel Almaguer tonight. Thank you, Miguel.